I became a firefighter is because it's what I've always wanted to do. It's the only job I've ever wanted to do. I joined the Marine Corps in 2000, went to Iraq twice, uh, and decided when I was in Iraq and saw a fire being put out that I wanted to be a firefighter. A lot of these guys are your neighbors, they're your friends, they're family members. As a firefighter, I'm asked to be at my best, you know, when people are having the worst day of their life. There's definitely things that you miss. You miss holidays. Uh, I have a one-year-old daughter. This job affects my family tremendously. I, I have a child and a wife. I, I understand that the, the economy's bad and they need to make cuts. Each firefighter, not just I, has given up around $4,500. We're the third lowest paid department in the St. Louis metro re region, so that $4,500 kind of hurts. I'm not insured through the city of St. Louis because it's so expensive. I had to go out on my own and get my own health insurance because it's cheaper that way. I take personal offense to people, you know, making the constant statement that there's not as many fires today as there were 10, 20 years ago. 80% of our call volume are EMS calls. There's more than just, you know, showing up in a fire truck to say that we ran this call, you know. We, we, we're, we're EMTs, we're highly qualified medical personnel. Um, yesterday, for example, we ran a carbon monoxide call at 10 a.m. Uh, where a family was all feeling sick. So we went with our gas meter and evacuated the house because the levels were too high for anyone to be in there. Another example was we had a, a meth house call where we went on in the evening last night. Car accidents. A car got totaled last night on Highway 55. You, you, don't, you don't ideally walk into a house and find a patient laying right there in the front door waiting for you. You know, you've got to go find these people. You've got to go up to the third floor. You've got to go down to the basement. And, you know, me, myself, I'm a 180-pound guy. I don't expect two medics to be able to carry me down, you know, from the third floor to the ambulance. Firefighters do a majority of this lifting, not to mention there's more fire trucks in the city than ambulances. So chances are that you're going to get one of us first on the scene, you know, to begin your initial treatment until the medic unit shows up. Walking into any dangerous situation, whether it's a house fire, a car fire, um, you get an adrenaline rush, um, and it's not, it's not for everybody. My first instinct has always been and always will be to help people. We run anywhere from 8 you know, to 20, 25 calls a day. There's, there's a, a lot of injuries you know, that, that take place, you know, strains and stresses you know, on your body. I personally, last year, showed up to a fire on the 4th of July. My engine company was doing the primary search. That's where we searched the building for anybody trapped or anything, okay? We also have to ventilate the building to prevent, you know, a backdraft or flashover. Uh, in the event of me walking over to help ventilate the building, I fell through a floor. I fell from the second floor to the basement. Our job as a St. Louis City firefighter affects people from around the area. It affects uh, people from O'Fallon, Illinois. It affects people from Clayton. It affects people from River to Pear. Uh, it affects people from all over because everybody that travels into the city that works in the city or goes to a Cardinals game or goes to a Blues game, anything happens there, that's our call. I would ask the mayor, why would you, why would you fire, want to fire 30 of the most qualified firefighters on the job? So if you fire 30 EMTs and you already have an overtime problem on the EMS side, how does that make sense? We're not here because we get paid tons of money. Uh, we're not here because we got the greatest benefits. We're here because we want to do the job that we were trained to do. We want to hear, we're here because we, most majority of us, truly want to affect people's lives in a positive way. I've been a St. Louis City firefighter for approximately three years. I probably want to know why that we're trying to lay off 30 guys whenever we, it only saves a certain amount of money. And I want to know what the real reason is behind it, because it doesn't seem to make any financial sense. Uh, my name is Josh Hildebrand. I'm a proud St. Louis City firefighter and a member of Local 73 Union.